We of Wondong Primary School would like to show our respect and acknowledge traditional custodians of the land on which our school is situated, of elders past and present. We extend a warm welcome to everyone who visits our school. We acknowledge and show respect for the Aboriginal culture and heritage and the ongoing relationship the traditional owners have with their land. Welcome everybody to assembly. Please stand up quietly for the national anthem. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to our assembly today. Thank you to all our parents who came to our school-wide positive behaviour session that we had on Webex on Wednesday night. Huge thank you to Miss Woods and Mr Warren who facilitated that session, that parent information session. Thank you for attending and being a part of our journey. A big shout out, we had our PAFA meeting this morning. Thank you to the wonderful ladies uh, who are part of that team who do some awesome fundraising to benefit our all our kids and our school as a whole. Thank you so much. And I know that they're still looking for some wonderful helpers who might be able to help out on the Sausage Sizzle at Bunnings on Sunday. So please, if you're able to help or give a hand, that would be wonderful. Please let us know or reach out to one of our PAFA members. That would be fantastic. Next week, we have our regional swimming championships and I wish Cammy every, every success. Swim well, Cammy, as you go into your freestyle and butterfly classes. Good luck and Wandong's with you, Cammy. Next week's also on Friday and it's, it's every day, National Day Against Bullying. And yeah, as I said, it's, it's every day. We do not tolerate any kind of bullying in any way. So Please get around that event and have a chat to your children and I know that our classes will be having that conversation about what exactly is bullying and what we can do as a bystander and what it looks like to um, for our victims of bullying and it can be happening online and as adults we need to be make, making sure that we're, we're modelling all those behaviours as well. Girls and boys, as you head out to playtime, a big reminder, I've got some posters up behind me. You'll see particularly that one there where my finger is, is a whole matrix of expected behaviours around our school. And one of them is how we move around the school and out the front of my office and Mr Warren's office and the classrooms here, that is a walkway. So please, a reminder that when you are walking past on these paths, that it is walking we don't jump down the stairs and we also don't fly down the railing because that could cause an injury. Please make sure that you are staying safe and that you are moving around the school quietly and those paths are walking to ensure that everyone stays safe. 
Have an amazing day. Have an awesome weekend and look forward to seeing you all next week. Last week we had school photos on Thursday, girls on track on Monday, and also on Monday we had National Women's Day. Next week on Friday it's National Day Against Bullying. You can either bring a gold coin donation or something for the Easter raffle. It's also a regional swimming on Tuesday. Good luck to Cammie. Hi, my name is Chloe. How are you? Good. Is your name Kate? Yes. Cool. Good afternoon everyone. This week's song of the week is yes. This is also no and this is another way to say it. Bye. Girls and boys, exciting news. If you're in Foundation M, Foundation C or 12M, next Friday will be your icy poll day. So make sure you're here next Friday and we'll be delivering your icy polls for your fantastic attendance a few weeks ago. Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you've had a wonderful day. Happy Friday. It's the weekend already. It's been a little bit of a short week this week, which is lovely that we get to look into the weekend again. I know everybody's getting tired as we're moving into in towards the end of the term, um, but there's some definitely some wonderful learning that's happening in the classrooms and, and some wonderful choices that are being made on the yard, which is really, really nice to see. This week for our attendance, I can see that there's been a big improvement on our attendance from last week. So that's hats off to everybody. And it was quite tricky to choose the winning rate this week because the percentages were all sitting up around 96 and 97%. But our winning grade for this week is sitting just under 97%, which means there was only two students that were away this week. And it's a changeover this week. The past couple of weeks, we've had two foundation grades that have taken out Pugly and got to keep him in their grades for the week. But this week, the winner goes to a grade three, uh, if I could speak, a grade three, four grade. Well done to grade three, four H. Your attendance this week was 96.8%, which is absolutely amazing. Keep up the wonderful effort. And remember, it's important to be at school every single day. And I can see across the grades, there's lots of, um, lots of learning that's been happening with everybody being here um, and people understanding how important that is. So well done to everybody in regards to that. Now, house points and postcards, some more exciting postcards have been sent home this week. And I wonder in your grade, while you're sitting in there watching assembly, if you could put your hand up and have a look around your grade to see if anybody in your class has received a postcard this week. It might be nice after assembly, if there is somebody that has, does a little show and tell in their grade about why they received their postcard for showing one of the values of pride, kindness, or curiosity. Very, very exciting, well done. We get very excited up at this end to send them out each day um, in our little letterbox that's sitting up in the office. So well done to all of you. Now house points, I know what you've all been waiting for. I've been having a little bit of a chat to Mr. Fern and Mr. Fern and our house captains are going to be doing something really exciting on the side of our sports shed. They're gonna be creating a big visual tally for everybody to see so that you can see what the points are at the end of each day. So assemblies on a Friday won't be as much of a surprise. So this week, just like last week, there must be lots and lots of students that are being quite competitive with how beautiful and wonderful their behaviour is because house points have gone through the roof. And even though it was a four-day week this week, so many house points were given out. I know this morning I was just in 12C and I gave out quite a lot of house points in there for seeing some wonderful behaviour. So well done to everybody. There is a bit of a change on our tally leaderboard this week, although some things have remained the same. Now we've come to the pointy end of the term, so it's time for you to really start pulling out all of those wonderful, wonderful behaviours and making good choices and doing the right thing because if your house is not sitting on the top of the leaderboard, it means you've got a little bit of a way to catch up if your house is to take over winning house at the end of the term. So winning house will receive icy poles. Everybody in that winning house will receive an icy pole this term. And you will also get to come in out of clothes day in your house colours at the end of the term. Super, super exciting. Um, that's something wonderful that you can look forward to. But before I say too much more, I'm going to flash this up on the screen now so you can see what the leaderboard is looking like. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. I am proud of every one of you. Keep up the excellent work and we will see you next week. Good job. This is Noel from 12L and how did you show kindness this week? By helping people when 
go home and take him up to sick bay. That's good. This is Benson from Winter Allen. How did you show pride this week? I ride in about dinosaurs. Well done. This is Mackenzie from Winter Allen. How did you show curiosity this week? Um, about monkeys. We choose about monkeys. Well done. Can everyone make sure to stay safe? Congratulations <laughs> to all students of the week.